Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can set up Discord SRV on your Minecraft server so that you can get Minecraft chat and your console to show up in your Discord server. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to download the Discord SRV plugin. So I'll just download this now. And then you're going to want to just upload this into your Minecraft plugins folder. Now it's worth mentioning that my setups do come with Discord SRV already. So if that's the case, I would just update the plugin and delete the old one. You're then going to want to restart your server so that it can generate the config. And while your server's restarting, we're going to need to make a Discord bot for your server to run. So you're going to want to come to discord.com slash developers slash applications. I'll leave a link to this in the description. You're going to want to click new application at the top and then give it a name. I'm going to name it Minecraft server. You're going to want to accept the Discord developer terms of service and developer policy and click create. You can then set a nice icon for your app here or a description and this will show up when you click on the bot on Discord. But you're also going to want to come over to your bot tab. You can change the actual bot icon here and the bot's username. You're going to want to click reset token here and click yes do it and then this will show your token here. You're going to want to copy this because we're going to need it later. And also make sure not to share this with anyone. By the time this video comes out I will have reset this token. You want to uncheck public bot so that no one else can invite the bot to your server. And you're also going to want to come down to privilege gateway intents and tick all three of these and then click save changes. So then to invite the bot to our server, you want to go to OAuth2 over here, click URL generator, click on bot and also click administrator down here and then go down to copy and then replace this with this URL and this is how you can invite the bot. So you're going to want to come down and click the Discord server you want to add this to and then click continue. Make sure you're happy with the permissions since it's our bot, it doesn't matter that it's got administrator. And then I'm gonna have to fill in the capture and then the bot has been added. So now if we come over to the Discord server, you'll see the bot has been added and now I can create the channels as well. So obviously your Discord server will look a bit better than mine, but we're just gonna wanna start by adding the Minecraft chat. So we'll do that one. And then you also want the Minecraft console. Not that I'm going to set it up in this video, but you want to make sure that the Minecraft console is only viewable by people who you would give console access to because they'll be able to type a message in and that will send it on the console. So coming back over to your Minecraft server panel, you're going to want to go to the file manager, click on plugins and then find Discord SRV and then we'll click on the config file and then here is where you're going to want to put the bot token that we copied earlier. I saved mine in this notepad file, so I'll just copy it here and paste it in. And then here we have the channel for the chat and the console channel ID. So coming back to Discord, you're first going to want to make sure you've got developer mode on. So come to user settings, go down to advanced, and then make sure you turn on developer mode here. And that will let you copy the IDs of these channels. So we're first going to want to copy the chat channel and put that into the global channel here. So just replace this ID. And then we want to do the same with the console. So I've just copied this one and we can paste it in here. You can also add a Discord invite link here. However, in most of my setups, I don't think this is used, but it's always worth putting it in as well so that people can join your Discord server using that. Down here, you can change the status of the bot. So it's currently playing Minecraft, but I'll change this to example server to show you how it changes. You can also put multiple different ones in here. So they suggest maybe putting your IP in here as well, and it will switch every two minutes and you can change how quickly it switches as well. There's a whole load of other settings here that you may want to change. But I'm just going to save this file, I'll go back to our console and then restart the server. So you'll see I'm getting loads of messages now and that's coming through the console here. So let me just mute that channel quickly. You can see the console is now loading and it's showing all the information. And then in the Minecraft chat the bot has says server has started. And you can see it's rotating its status up here as well. So I can actually type console commands in a Discord chat as well. So if I type such LSC to pull up the Lifesteal Core help, then once it sends, you'll see the Lifesteal Core help comes up. And then you can also chat here and these messages will get sent into the Minecraft game. And you can also send messages here and these messages will get sent onto the server. So for example, if I type one, two, three, four, then these messages will get sent. And then when we head over to Minecraft, you can see they're showing up in the chat down here. And then if I type saying hello there from Minecraft, then you'll see they're showing up in Discord too. So that's how you can set up Discord SRV on your Minecraft server to show your chat and console in your Discord server. Thank you very much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.